Hello everyone, welcome to my channel India Gate. This is Nandi Sarma and in this session we talk about determinant. So, here we discuss the various types of the short tricks and tips based on the determinants. Due to of this, we just few seconds find the answers of the given question. So, let's get started. So here first question is given like uh, the eigenvalue of the matrix are given as 15, 3 and 0. And here matrix is also given. Then the value of the matrix is 1. So we know that um, the property of the eigenvalue and eigenvector here determinant of the value is always equal to the product of the eigenvalues so here eigenvalues is given like that so after the multiplication of the all the eigenvalues like 15 3 and 0 so we get here 0 why because 0 is given then after the multiplication of the any number the answer is always 0 now come to the next question so here it is very easy to find the determinant of the any question in just a few seconds so your next question is defined as let a be an m into n matrix and b an n into m matrix it is given that determinant i m plus a b equal to determinant i plus b a where i k is the k into k identity matrix using of the above property the determinant of the matrix is given below so here the matrix is given like this now what we found we found only the determinant so we don't consider this line of code we just come to the solution how so here just solution is given like that just going through the determinant so here after the solving the determinant 2 is going to be multiplied by the what just these three now okay after the minus one we get here all the three rows like this like this and this then after they found all the determinant of this here so we get all the answers of and the determinant of this question is like what that is 5 so this is very easy process to find the determinant in just a few seconds if you go through the given instruction in the questions so it is a very lengthy process but here if you follow this procedure you get in just a few seconds okay now come to the next question so now next question is given like the determinant of the matrix so here matrix is given like this this is your lower triangular matrix okay now here four options option a hundred option b 200 option c one and option d what 30 so how could we say that it is one so in the case of the lower triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix we know that the diagonal elements multiplication of the diagonal elements is equal to the determinant of the matrix that is one okay so here just you take just a little bit two to five seconds to give the answer this, this is very easily and very quick short trick to get the answer okay now come to the next question so next question is defined as if a equal to 1 2 3 in first row 0 4 5 in second row and 0 0 1 in third row that is what this is your upper triangular matrix then what is find here so here is find the determinant of the e inverse now this is really interesting question here why because it is very easy to getting this just some short tricks one is there we know that the determinant of the a inverse we it right like this yes this is also true now here yes, second procedure you have to use this is the upper triangular matrix now determinant of the 
upper triangular matrix is just product of the diagonal element that is 1 into 4 into 1 that is going to be 4 now after the putting the value in the first we get 1 upon 4 that is equal to 0 0.0 Two five. That is your upper triangular matrix. Okay, so this is very unique and very quick sort tricks for you and very easily sort tricks for all the process. Now come to the next question. So here next question is defined as for the matrix A. Here A is defined as cos theta minus sin theta in first row and sin theta cos theta in second row if the determinant det stand for determinant of the at a transpose is the transpose of the eight then the value of determinant a transpose dot a is what so firstly we consider the that given matrix is what type of the matrix so it is just a orthogonal type of matrix why because here when we getting the determinant of this question we get here one you know very well cos square plus sin square theta equal to what that is one so it is a orthogonal matrix now putting the easily all the values that is here basis of the orthogonal matrix here all this is equal to like this to because we know that a transpose is always equal to determinant of a now and we putting all there we get here determinant of a square now here the process of this after the putting this we got here one why because we know that determinant is here one one okay now we come to the next question so next question is defined as given that the determinant of the matrix here matrix is 1 3 0 in first row 2 6 4 in second row minus 1 0 2 in third row is minus 12 then determinant of the matrix b is what here b is defined as 2 6 0 in first row 4 12 8 in second row minus 2 0 4 in third row now here consider that one more things and very important things there here is a common between the a and b just one thing that here just multiply with two we got the matrix b okay so this is common part between these two matrices so when we using of the standard procedure so it is going to be very long that is method first okay which is or normally used by the us now we come to the another method that is method 2 which is given by me here in this method we get here b equal to t into a okay when we getting the determinant of the any multiply of the other matrices so here the formula is going to be changed means formula is written like mod b is equal to 2 to power of n or here n is what here n is defined your rank of the a that is matrix okay matrix a so after here rank of the matrix a is what that is 3 so when we 2 to power of 3 and we know that a determinant of a is minus 12 just put the value and we get the answer that is your minus 96 okay this is your correctly and absolutely 100% correct answer in just a few seconds okay now come to the next question we just observe and consider the what type of the matrix is here and when we know so it is easy to find the answer in very few seconds okay here first if the determinant of the matrix that is here minus 1 sorry 1 3 2 0 5 minus 6 2 7 8 is 26 okay then the determinant of the matrix that is given here 2 7 8 in first row 0 5 minus 6 in second row and here 1 3 2 in second third row now here basis of the we consider the given matrix is your B. now after the considering here a is the determinant of the a is 26 which is given and we found the determinant of the b now when we interchanging the row of the first into the row of the 
which hold we get here and times yeah of course this is correct now after this uh, moving of these things we got here the determinant of the a is also equal to the minus 1 to power of n mod a that is equal to after the putting of the value we got here what determinant of b just a few second that is minus 26 okay now come to the next question here next question is defined as consider the matrix j6 so here j6 is given like that okay which is the obtained by the reversing the order of the column of the identity matrix identity matrix we know that it is also the square matrix that is given the diagonal elements is one and other lower and upper triangular matrix is zero okay so it is your identity matrix let here p is equal to i6 plus alpha j6 where alpha is the non negative real number okay the number of alpha for which determined p is zero okay so is what okay now here we found the value of the alpha so basis of these all the things we get here the the given instructions as per given question we found like this structure now here basis of this structure this is your identity element where diagonal elements is going to be one and after the multiply the alpha we get here just like this is per given matrices in the given above now after the plus and until plus the value we got like this type of the matrix there in the diagonal of there we get here alpha and is this diagonal we get one okay now basis of this what is the value of the alpha we found here so after this given question we know that a determinant is zero and we already say in the previous session if determinant is zero so we easily say that any two row two or more row is equal so if any two or more row is same so determinant is zero means we say that easily the first row is equal to third row means here alpha is going to be 1 and at the end here is alpha is going to be 1 so this is very very facially we put the value of alpha is equal to 1 and here row 1 and into 6 is same then alpha the value of the alpha is going to be 1 okay now come to the next question so next question is defined as for a matrix a so a is equal to 1 10x in first row minus 10x 1 in second row now determinant of a transpose dot a inverse is what so it is very easy question why because we know that after the getting the determinant of the a we get here what which is what which is really very easy things that is it is your orthogonal element now there is another thing is that is we defined and another more method to get the answer very quickly so here in this method we get here the total number of these things we know that a transpose a inverse is going to be like this yeah of course this is uh, equal to like this and here we know that the inverse of a mod of a inverse is a uh, just uh, representing like this yes it is also true okay now this is going to be true and we know that in the case of the orthogonal matrix the transpose is also equal to the equal any of the matrix not the orthogonal okay so after the putting this value in this given equation so we get easily that mod a into mod 1 upon mod is what it is 1 that is option c is your correct answer okay so when you read and know the all the properties of the matrix so you can easily define and you can easily get the answer in just few seconds okay now come to the next question here if a equal to 9 6 in first row and 8 7 in second row then determinant of 
mod e to power of 99 minus mod e to power of 98 is what so there are firstly we assume the using of the eigenvalue properties we know that the diagonal uh, some of the diagonal element is like is like this after adding the diagonal uh, multiply of the diagonal which is equal to the determinants so we get here determinant is equal to 15 after the solving this equation we get here the lambda value means the eigen value are 15 and 1 now basis of this eigen value using of Clay Hamilton theorem. We know that Clay Hamilton theorem means A is equal to lambda, where A is given like A to power of 99 means we easily say that lambda to power of 99. Okay, and here lambda that is 51 to power of 99 and 1 to power of 99. We easily say okay, this is correct. Yes, this is correct. Now and we found the what the value of a to power 98 that is also equal to the lambda to the power of 98 as per the clay hamilton theorem so basis of this theorem we get like this now putting the value after the putting the value 15 to power as per the eigenvalue 1 the putting the power of the eigenvalue 1 so we get here 15 to power of 98 into 14 so this is your correct answer for the given question now come to the next question it is related to this question but there is using some another cosmet what we see here now this is given easily okay now there are four option is given first option a is equal to 1 b equal to 48 c equal to 0 and d equal to 299 now what is the determinant of this whole equation so basis of the whole equation we got all these values now solving this matrix so after the solving this matrix we got the organ value like lambda 1 is 15 and lambda 2 is 1 okay now just put the values uh, as per the clear Hamilton theorem now here we know that easily using of the without using of the clear Hamilton theorem we get here a to power 99 minus a to power 98 after calling the value a to power 98 we get here a minus 1 that is going to be what this is going to be a minus 1 so here a to power of 99 is going to be another side okay when we putting the value of a and we don't know one is also equal to the your identity matrix so basis of the your identity matrix we get here like this equation okay after this equation we get here like this type of the matrix okay after this matrix when we solving this matrix as the determinant and when we found the determinant of the given value what so what will we get uh, here is the determinant of this this value is what that is zero so after the multiply zero into the a to power of 98 that will be what that will be also zero so option c is your correct okay now come to the next question that is defined as eigenvalue of a 4 to 4 matrix a r is given as 2 minus 3 13 and 7 then what is the value of the determinant of determinant e now here there are four options option a 5 option b 9 10 and option c minus 4 546 and option d plus 546 now we know that determinant is equal to product of the all eigenvalues okay so basis of the all uh, product of all values we get here this type of the equation now now mode of the equation we get here what after the multiply we get here minus 546 but here apply the mode so this mode operation it is going to be positive so answer is not c this is answer d is correct that is your 
फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सिक्स इज योर करेक्ट आंसर विच इज योर ऑप्शन डी ओके नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डिफाइंड एज इफ ए इक्वल टू वन टू वन वन दिस इज योर वॉट दिस इज योर कॉलम मैट्रिक्स ओके एंड हेयर बी इज योर रो मैट्रिक्स दैट इज टू थ्री वन फोर देन द फाइंड द वैल्यू द डिटर्मेंट ऑफ ए बी सो वॉट इज द डिटर्मेंट ऑफ द ए बी हेयर फर्स्टली वी कंसिडर दैट वेन बी फाउंड द रैंक ऑफ द ए बी इट इज इट शुड बी लेस दैन इक्वल टू वन यस ऑफकोर्स बिकॉज हेयर द मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ए इज डिफाइंड ऑफ द ए एंड बी वी गॉट हेयर वन इज टू वन मैट्रिक्स ओके दिस इज करेक्ट या ऑफकोर्स दिस इज करेक्ट नाउ एंट्री ऑफ द ओवर ऑर्डर सो हायर ऑर्डर ऑफ दिस इज गिवन लाइक दैट बट हेयर मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स इज दैट कि दैट हेयर द डिटर्मेंट ऑफ द ए एंड बी एंड डिटर्मेंट ऑफ ए इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो येस दिस इज करेक्ट देन वेन डिटर्मेंट ऑफ ए इज जीरो सेन determinant v is also after the getting the value v it is also zero so answer is of this question is zero okay now come to the next question here next question is defined as a equal to 4 minus 3 in first row 5 2 in second row 6 5 in third row and 2 3 in fourth row okay and here b is given like 2 1 1 4 5 in first row 6 7 1 3 in third row or second row sorry so basis of this what is the determinant of the ap so first if we count the rank of the matrix when we count the rank of the matrix so here rank of the ap is going to be what 2 but after the getting there here rank of rank of the matrix is not more than 2 that is mod a equal to 0 yeah of course this is correct because when we found the determinant of a so we get here determinant of a is 0 so after the getting the value we know that mod a b is equal to mod a into mod b okay so when a is zero then b, the whole process also going to be zero so our answer of this question is also zero now come to the next question so next question is defined as the find the determinant of the given matrices okay so here determinant matrix is given like 1a b c in first row 1b c a in second row 1c a b in third row now here when we going to the find the determinant of this question it is going to be long process it is written here okay which is very long but as we consider this matrix so this matrix is a what type of the matrix this is a cyclic type of the matrix here cycle is repeated on their side so due to of this reason matrix is going to be cyclic so determinant of this matrix is also equal to what a minus b in parenthesis b minus c in parenthesis c minus a in parenthesis so this is your correct answer now if you come to the whole uh, wrong procedure so it is going taking a lot of time but uh, if you consider what type of the matrix so matrix is using cyclicity so due to of the cyclicity the value of also the determinant is going to be cyclicity also okay now come to the next question so the next question is defined as the determinant of here question is defined as sum of the eigen values means lambda 1 plus lambda 2 is 12 then what will be maximum determinant mod a so we know that product of the a product of the eigen value is going to be equal to the determinant of the matrix then here we found that product of the a always going to be equal to b that is 
is equal to lambda 2 that is what 6 when we adding the 6 plus 6 that is equal to what 12 so easily we say that the product of the maximum determinant of the a is what that is 36 means the multiplication of each eigenvalues and multiplication of eigenvalues is equal to determinant of the matrix which is by this this so answer of this question is what 36 now come to the next question here the eigenvalue of the matrix m is given below as 15 3 and 0 and matrix is also given is here what is the determinant value of the matrix m so it is a very easy question why because here the eigenvalue is 0 okay and we know that the determinant of the any matrix is equal to the what product of the eigenvalues that is mod a is equal to product of the eigenvalues okay so when we multiply of this and producting of this value means 15 into 3 into 0 so what is the value of this determinant that is 0 so what option is correct that is option c is your correct answer okay you just consider all the values and just get the few seconds answer now this session is end here i hope you understand all the procedures all the short tricks and tips which is given by me okay if you have any query so please comment me thank you for watching